Hello, welcome to a priori story time list. I'm here with um, Bob is with us, who you may not be able to see. He's a hummingbird. And Mr. Love You Moo is here. <coughs> this is a story uh, by H. Otley Byer. And uh, it's on the origin of the Ifugals. <coughs> this one's called <coughs> Origin of the Mountains. The first son of Wigan, called Kabigat, went from the sky region, who dog, to the earth world to hunt with dogs. As the earth was then entirely level, his dogs ran much from one side to the other, pursuing the quarry. And this they did without Kabigat hearing their barking. In consequence of which, it is reported that Kabigat said, I see that the earth is completely flat because there does not resound the echo of the barking of the dogs. After becoming pensive for a little while, he decided to return to the heights of the sky world. Later on, he came down again with a very large cloth and went to close the exit to the sea of the waters of the rivers. And so it remained closed. He returned again to Hudog and went to make known to Bongabong that he had closed the outlet of the waters. Bongabong answered him, go thou to the house of the cloud and of the fog and bring them to me. For this purpose, he had given permission beforehand to cl cloud and fog, intimating to them that they should go to the house of Bayukribe, the god of rain. And so they did. Bayuhibi brought together his sons Tumiok, Dumalalu, Lumudul, Mumbatono, and Inaplihan. And he bade them to reign without ceasing for three days. Then Bongobong called Mangulat, and so they ceased. Migan said, moreover, to his son Kabigat, Go thou and remove the stopper that thou hast placed on the waters. And so he did. And in this manner, when the waters that had covered the earth began to recede, there rose up mountains and valleys formed by the rushing of the waters. Then Bongabong called Mumba An that he might dry the earth. And so he did. Thank you for joining in. We appreciate it. If you have a myth that you'd like to have us retell, please add it to the comments so we continue to be inspired by you as we're all inspired by the stories of humanity. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Lovey Moo.